Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. For those of you that know who I am, welcome back and thank you for checking out what I have for you today. And for those of you who are new, my name is Dee and this is my adult coloring channel, Colorful Dreams. Um, so today, um, I have a couple of flip throughs for you. Um, the artist Pika Poyo, um, in the uh, new and popular colorful, or uh, sorry, com cozy and comfy coloring book kind of uh, genre, uh, was very kind and sent me two of their books to do uh, a flip and review for all of you guys in the coloring community. Um, and I really hope you guys do enjoy it. Um, the other thing I want to let you guys know is for these kinds of books, the eight and a half by eight and a half cute and comfy cozy coloring books, uh, Zoe from Zoe's Cozy Coloring and myself have started a cute, comfy and cozy coloring Facebook group. And um, there are lots of things uh, you can do and lots of coloring books if you're interested in these kinds of books come on over I will put the link in the description below of the, the um, video so you guys can come and join us if you haven't but let's get into these cute books I absolutely love them I've already colored a page in this one but we're gonna start with cuddly buddies um, it is a glossy front cover this is the front this is the back it is eight and a half by eight and a half I'm pretty sure let's just double check for you guys um, yep eight and a half by eight and a half is what it is yep exactly so <clears throat> it does have bold lines um, <clears throat> cuddly buddies cute and comfy coloring book this is the copyright by Pika Poyo. Um, find joy in coloring, the paper selection, showcase your creations, and this is all their uh, social media. <clears throat> then before you begin your coloring journey, Amazon paper is ideal for colored pencils and alcohol-based markers. To prevent bleed through, place a few blank sheets behind your coloring page. And <clears throat> this is all their um, socials and then we have on this side we have this book belongs to page and then this is a each of them these are each of the characters that are featured in the book they are single-sided pages um, just the front pages like the first few pages are not single-sided but the rest of the book is and they are framed so let's get into this cute little coloring book this one they are gardening, pottery, <clears throat> and they're shopping, maybe a garage sale. Kind of looks like a garage sale, yard sale, but they could be in the shop too, so. <clears throat> and they're on the beach making sandcastle, super cute. My favorite place, the coffee shop. This is one of my favorite pictures. I love this page. And then we have this cute and comfy. They're reading their books. Mm. Oh, I gotta break this spine. It's gonna drive me crazy. Mm. Mm. Okay. And little forest scene. They are in pastry shop, maybe. <clears throat> They're making a snowman, perfect for winter. Ice cream shop. Oh, look, carrot ice cream, I assume. What's this, kiwi? Something like that. Uh, he's, look, look at the frog. He's catching the fly. That's his picnic. This mouse's ears look humongous next to his head. It's so funny. I love it, though. It's funny. 
And we got this. They're camping. I absolutely love this book. Too cute. This is a tree house, I would assume, because of the ladder and, yep, sitting by the fire. <clears throat> that crocodile, that's supposed to be a frog. He should be able to breathe under the water. I don't know why he has a snorkel, but hey. A little hot air balloon. Date night, I'm assuming. <clears throat> Surfing. I'm assuming this is Hawaii because the volcano and the... I could be wrong. Could be some other tropical place. Wherever you want it to be, I guess. <clears throat> the frog. He's like chilling, going down the slide. <laughs> I love it. Little carousel. Probably a circus or carnival or something. <clears throat> I love the fact that his ears are humongous. <laughs> it's too cute. I love this page too. Playing in the puddles. <laughs> Movie night, I'm assuming. Slumber party, slumber party. <clears throat> the pyramids. Looks like they're kind of traveling, too. Like, you know, I mean, they could be using their imagination. I know that Pika Poyo has uh, a Cozy Paws book, and I think it's like traveling around the world or something. <clears throat> I don't have that one, but... I like the thick uh, line work, uh, perfect for markers, and I love that they're framed in, to be honest. Mm. Let's see if I get my light kind of angled at the pages a little better. I love the little hippie mobile. I love it. Is this Ramadan? I don't know. Christmas? Whatever you call it. Mm. Pear picking? The frog on the exercise ball gets me every time I see this page. <laughs> it's funny. In the boat. Don't rock the boat. <clears throat> and then we have our thank you page from Pika Poyo. So there's that one. 41 easy and bold coloring pages. And for those of you who are curious, that is the way you spell it. And we are going to do these spooky cuddles <clears throat> um, book. I'm trying to see. I should have pulled this out before I even did the video or even started. But I will see if I can find the page that I colored from this book. Because I know I colored a page from it. Yes, yes, I did. Right here. So this is the page, one of the pages I colored from this. It will be in my finished pages video for October, but this is the page I colored from this book. Just so you can have kind of an example of what kind of <clears throat> the pages could look like. Um, and yeah. So this is another eight and a half by eight and a half spooky cuddles, cute and comfy coloring book. I love the characters, especially this one here. He's my favorite. And these are some sample pages. Again, another 41 easy and bold coloring pages. And we are going to get into it. <clears throat> so this is the title page. And same as the other book, it's got all the uh, info for their socials. <clears throat> These are all the characters in the book. They are single-sided, just like the other book, the Cuddly Buddies. 
and then we get into the cuteness. I love this book. Um, I prefer this one over the Cuddly Buddies one just because I love my spooky cute stuff. Um, not for any other reason. Um, I just love weird, odd characters and creatures. And these ones are framed as well as the other one was. Super adorable. I want to color so many of these pages in here. But that goes for a lot of the books that I've gotten. So These ones are a little bit more detailed. The Pika Poyo ones are a little bit more detailed than most of the cute, comfy, and cozy coloring books. I mean, there are tons of them, but... Um, these ones, to me, are the more detailed books that I have out of all of the kind of books like that. <clears throat> so, I love this bat. They're carving pumpkins in the graveyard. <laughs> it's their hangout, I guess, <clears throat> right? I have a lot of tabs you'll find. <clears throat> I can actually take this one out, to be honest. This one's cute. <clears throat> the armoire. The haunted house. The little zombie. <clears throat> Looks like a little seance going on. With the witch and the cat. There's that zombie again. Love the car. <clears throat> this is the front cover page. If you like like um, copying pages, then this is that page for the cover. <clears throat> I know there's a, a colorist on TikTok that likes to mimic or uh, take the front page and kind of <clears throat> do the same. I love this train. It kind of reminds me of like The Walking Dead at one point where they're on that train with all the zombies and stuff. <clears throat> Little zombie with a candle. I don't know how well that is. But that, that would go, but you know. This is a guillotine. It took me a while to figure out what it was. And then I was like, oh, that's a guillotine. I thought it was like a puppet show kind of thing. And then I realized what it was. Yeah. <clears throat> Boo TV, anybody? <laughs> I like this one too. With the little creature coming out from the water. <clears throat> and just like everybody else, you know, creatures do people things like we do music and <clears throat> you know seances on <clears throat> on the daily and you know all that fun stuff and this is a latte <clears throat> I guess that's a little coffee shop or I should say kiosk <clears throat> and then <clears throat> I guess this is the mummy's house. I don't know yet, but you can make it the mummy's house. It's your coloring book, your imagination, your creativity. You color it the way you want to color it. But I am looking forward to coloring some more pages in here. <clears throat> I had a lot of fun with the other one, so... I love it. Love, love, love it. <clears throat> Little ghosties having a date night in the cemetery again. And that is the end of that one. So I want to thank um, Pika Poyo for <clears throat> sending me these books to review for them. I look forward to seeing more books by created by the uh, by them because I really really do love the artwork and the cute little characters. I love everything about them. 
So uh, if you're interested, I will put the links of both books for Amazon in the description below. Um, and let me know in the comments as well what your thoughts are on these two books and this um, and this genre and, and the artists themselves. But uh, yeah, thank you for watching. And until next time, dreamers, remember to stay safe, be kind, keep smiling, and happy coloring. Bye.